Let me speak specifically about our own, the President of the Republic of Uganda. He's ruled these years close to four decades, 40 years. Uh, what do you think about this? this Mr. Veni is not your problem. I think he is. No, no listen to me, young man, mm. and slow down. Do, do you have a personal hate for white, white men? I don't know if they have a personal passion for loving me. So mm. don't, don't ask me if I hate them. Ask them if they love me. Well, I don't is. love them. They don't mm. love me. Mm. We are good where we are. I think the, the globalization... There's no globalization. In that global village, mm. who will be the chief? What is the problem? Your policies are your problem. Not the person. Not the person. You can put Bobby Wine tomorrow. Mm. There's nothing Bobby Wine will change. The democracy is removing white people mm. and putting black people to continuously oppress the black people. Serious? I thought democracy is the power of the people to select who they want and when they want. If it is the power of the people, how come minority must rule the majority? Black politician is the one who gets into the political system to mm. transform and change it, mm. to create preferential procurement for the development of the African people. I see. So you don't go there to protect the colonial system. Mm. You go there to dismantle the mm. seven pillars. Uh, good afternoon, viewers, good afternoon, Africans. This is Dr. Mabonga. Uh, very nice to see you and welcome to, to welcome to Uganda. Thank you very You've much. You've been described as a son of uh, Africa. I'm not good at describing who you are, but I know you're a very good son of Africa. How have you found the country, Uganda? Uganda is, the Uganda is a beautiful country mm. with lots of history, which must be celebrated and uh, there's huge potentials in the farming space, in the mining space, in the tourism space, and particularly in the cultural tourism, as people come back to Uganda to retrace their steps. And uh, the royal clans, the Sese Islands, the Ranzuri Mountains, and other specific cultural centers are incubated to beautiful history. In, you have been a person who has, who has traveled the country. I just learned about your history, you were in the, in the US, for us who have been here for a long time, we think those countries are better than us. How do you, uh, how do you go about that? Is the US and Europe and Asia, are they better than Africa? A country is only better as long as the people who are in that country are better people. So there's no way you can talk about US being a better country, but they're on the news every day killing each other. I can't breathe the whole colonialism that is going there. Better country where slave trade took place, and a better country that has waged more than 30 years, 30 wars around the world. Mm -hmm. Better country right now that is burying more than 350 people per day in the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Better country that dropped bombs in Hiroshima. Better country. That's what we thought. Don't thought, think. Mm. That's, that, that's the image we have. So of the it's US. branding. Mm. You can you can sell rotten eggs mm. and put a nice painting on them. When you open them, you find that they so are rotten. So you don't believe they are good people? I don't believe they are good people because um, American civilization is mm. built on the oppression of African countries. But they are the masters. They teach us. They say it's only you, they teach us the democracy. It's only you who can call them masters. Mm. As far as we're concerned, they're not masters. They're mercenaries. They're are killers. You, are you serious? They're murderers. Mm -hmm. Go back and do your history. Mm. Yes. But they are always here in Africa teaching us about... They are not, they are not teaching us nothing. How we should elect, how we should conduct ourselves. They are not here for nothing. They are here to protect their interests. I see. Yeah, they are not here for anything. They are not here for you. What, what is democracy in your picture? Democracy is, a, is a, a slave market to manage colonialism under new political leaders. Mm -hmm. So literally you create a system that mm -hmm. maintains the same system mm -hmm. And it's only that just black faces. So democracy is removing white people mm. and putting black people to continuously oppress the black people. Are you serious? I thought democracy is the power of the people to select who they want then and if it is, they want. If it is the power of the people, how come minority must rule the majority? If the majority says we don't want homosexuality mm. and minority says yes, mm. so what is democracy? Is it not majority rule? Yeah. So if it is majority, what does the majority want in Uganda? The majority don't want to gain. So, if, so what, you give me a definition of democracy then. Democracy, I think, is the power of people to choose. So if the want. people have chosen, mm. then how come the minority are ruling? The minority are ruling. Mm. I think they are selected by the majority. You, you process that in your mind. <laughs> so democracy is not majority rule. Yes. Democracy is money rules. Mm. Are you serious? Dr. Mabu, you see, some people in Africa, 
and others in Europe and those who have followed you for a long time who have not had this think that you are extremely controversial. Like, do you have a personal hate for white, white men? I don't know if they have a personal passion for loving me. So mm. don't, don't ask me if I hate them. Ask them if they love me. Mm -hmm. And I've read them in Congo. Mm. I Ask me. Mm. I saw them during the war in Zimbabwe. Mm. Ask me. Mm. I saw them in the war in apartheid in South Africa. Mm. Ask me. Mm. I saw them at the death of Gaddafi. Mm. Ask me. Mm. I saw them in Hiroshima. Ask me. I saw them in Sudan. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell me about white people and love? And you want to tell me, talk to me as a black man and tell me about loving white people? Yeah, Can yeah. you also talk to the white people and ask them if they are passionate about loving black people? I don't know. So don't ask me what you don't know. I don't, know I don't love them. They don't love me. Mm. We are good where we are. I think the, the globalization... There's no globalization. Really in that global village, mm. who will be the chief? What would the African be in that global village? I think the Africa will manage his situation. The whites will manage That's a wish situation. list. That's a wish list. The mm. globalization is coming in the backdraft of IMF, mm. international labor organizations, mm. in the World Bank systems, mm. the Rothschild, mm. the, and, and the, the other Freemasonry organizations mm. that are driving us toward the World Cup, including NATO becoming the security officer. So you tell me right now, we, in which council does Africa belong? on the organization that I've mentioned above. On the World Bank, does Africa appear there? No. On the IMF, does Africa appear there? No. On NATO, does Africa appear there? We don't have the permanent... And then you are talking about the global village. That's daydreaming. You seem to suggest that Africans... Uh, should I call this colonization after colonization, neocolonialism? What is this described? We, you seem to suggest that we are still under the control of the white man. I'm not suggesting. It's mm. a reality. Until you change the quality of your politician mm. and you change the quality of your business. And now what should be the, re the actual quality of a black politician? A black politician is the one who gets into the political system to mm. transform and change it, mm. to create preferential procurement for the development of the African people. I see. So you don't go there to protect the colonial system. Mm. You go there to dismantle the mm. seven pillars. Mm. You dismantle the governance. Mm -hmm. Restore indigenous governance. Dismantle business and commerce. Mm -hmm. Create your own banks and your own insurance that have black people as owners. Mm. Dismantle education. Mm. Remove colonial education and insert mm. African education. Mm. Dismantle sports and culture. Mm. Cut off all these sports and soccer. Mm. Start using indigenous games and etc. Dismantle health. Cut away from in white people's food. Introduce and rekindle your own African diets. Or above everything else, dismantle agriculture. The quality of the plants that you are planting. And number seven, spirituality and culture and religion. How can the African find themselves in terms of their true identity without necessarily bowing to a white god? Is that a problem of the white man? If an African cannot eat their own food, cannot praise their own god, is that a problem of the white man? You don't understand that colonization was a thorough project that even colonized your language colonized your appetite, mm. colonized your ears, mm. colonized your fashion, mm. colonized everything. So you're not pretending mm. when you say, what if I don't eat African foods? Mm. Because even your appetite right now cannot taste African food. Mm. You like pizza. Yes. You like Coca-Cola. <laughs> you like sweets. Yes. So even the African who says I'm an African, mm. but when they go on their table, mm. their appetite is not African. Well, when they go to the African. shop, education, young man, mm. is a is a space where you teach the African mm. to forget themselves. Forgetting themselves? Forget themselves. That is education. Be what? We have been doing this for the past 200 years. Mm. We have been doing this for 200 years. Mm. Being taught to forget ourselves. I see. So at the end of the day, what do you expect? Mm. So the African man, the African politician. Now we see, uh, I want to take you through the, 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 the time of the, uh, the politicians, the African politicians. Let me speak specifically about our own, the President of the Republic of Uganda. He's ruled this year as close to four decades, 40 years. Uh, what do you think about this? this Mr. Venn is not your problem. I think he is. No, no listen to me, young man, mm. and slow down. Mm. Don't, don't, don't put words in my mouth. I will help you to grow. Yes. Mr. Venn is not your problem. What is the problem? Your policies are your problem. Not the person. Not the person. You can put Bobby Wine tomorrow. Mm. There's nothing Bobby Wine will change. Because the same policies that I'm telling you about, unless you transform the system, 
There's nothing that a leader can do. So you put a leader in parliament who simply manages the same colonial system. There will be no difference, young man. You can put as many leaders and change as many as you want. That's why America can even put a dog as a president of America. And America will run. I see. Ask me why. Why? Because the system is built to protect American interests. And so here we don't have even if you put a cat, mm. America will not close. Mm. So you are even lucky to have Mr. Vanny. Mm. Because he's got a bad. I'm not sure. No. I'm not sure. Uh, for being, being I, in power, I, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't want us to talk and tag each other. Yes. The indigenous governance systems we come from, which are royalty, mm -hmm. every generation comes with its leader mm -hmm. and dies with the leader. Mm -hmm. Another generation comes with its leader, mm -hmm. dies with its leader. So this whole thing of yours of four years, mm -hmm. five years, mm -hmm. how long will it take you to build your own house for your own family? Five uh, years? Uh, no, no. How many years? Uh, ten, ten or fifteen. Uh, fifteen years. Yes. So now try and build a country in five years. If you fail to build your own house mm. in five years, mm. can you build a country in five years? But I think it, it is his problem not to streamline the structures. Until you produce educated, progressive young people who can get into the system mm. to transform it. Mm. Don't challenge the leader just for the sake of let's change. Mm. Same thing we have in Zimbabwe. Mm. No, we want a new leader. We want a new little boy to run the politics. The boy can't even wipe his nose and remove mucus on his face. Mm -hmm. And he wants to run a country. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't work like but that. But there was time when the President Mugabe was there for a long time. Mugabe was there. And things were falling. We had the things we were not young men, running well. Young men, I think after this interview, mm. you need to go back to school and, and, and ask for your school fees back. Yes. Yes. Why? <laughs> because you don't understand mm. politics. Mm -hmm. The British mm. and the Americans mm. promised Mugabe mm. billions of dollars to pay for land. Mm -hmm. And they said, for the next 25 years, don't address the issue of land. Mm -hmm. We'll be paying you. <coughs> when Tony Blair got into power, mm. Tony Blair refused to pay. The Prime Minister of Ask England. me why. Why? Because the white man is not truthful. The white man never keeps his word. Mm. The white man says one thing and mm. does another. Mm. And so 25 years later, mm. when the contract was not owned up, mm. Mugabe then shifted the gears mm. and took the land back. Mm. Had we changed the president in Zimbabwe, mm. To put another president, maybe we would have never been able to return our land. But the man they promised, 30 years later, was still in power, and he asked them to own up on their words. Mm -hmm. You come around as young little boys mm -hmm. and tell us that Mugabe was this and Mugabe was that. Mm -hmm. You don't understand the politics of Africa impersonated mm -hmm. in the country of Zimbabwe. And until mm -hmm. all African countries mm -hmm. implement the Mugabe strategy, mm -hmm. you are going to remain in power, mm -hmm. but not in control. But, but, but you told me... For, for this Africa to change, we need young, educated people. And Mugabe was a very educated president. He, he was not, edu he was he was not educated. educated. Mugabe was not educated. He was honored by the West for complying with the West. Honored. Have you ever seen Mugabe in traditional clothes? No. So why, what education are you talking about? I thought this formal. Don't trust. Don't thought. Think. He was not educated. He was colonially educated, but not culturally circumcised. The first time I'm hearing this, and I appreciate that you came to this country. Thank you. Indeed. indeed Respect been... Museveni, mm. he was on a good path. Respect Mugabe, mm. it's not a good path. They're good things, they're bad things. Mm. Like a chicken, when you throw seeds on the ground, mm. a chicken knows how to pick the seeds mm. and how to leave the soil. I see. Thank you, sir.